Oh, that's it. Teach the police how to handle black people. So I saw a video today on... Oh, this was Instagram. I actually tried to find the full version of this video. And this video, I take it this video was old. It could be new. And when I say old, I mean like a year or two old. I don't mean 10 years, 15 years. The black brother from London, I assume, he was rough handled by the police. Now, it weren't on his Instagram. It was on some other girl's Instagram page. But anyway, she's posted this video, right? And basically, it's like one of them long videos where, like, you know, on Instagram, you can do the IGTV and it's like a four minute video or whatever. Isn't it? Posted the video now. And yeah, basically, he was harassed by the police. He was rough handled by the police or whatever, isn't it? And he said to the police, I'm going to teach you a lesson. I'm going to teach you like, how to handle black people or whatever, isn't it? Yeah, I'm coming for you. So basically, he actually managed to go to, I think, Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard is like the main police department in the whole of London, like the main the headquarters of the Met Metropolitan Police or whatever, isn't it? So he's gone there and he basically, he's talking to the newbie, the new recruits, yeah? So the, the rookies, basically, isn't it? The new people who are coming, training to become police officers or whatever, isn't it? And he wanted to help teach them before they make the quote-unquote same mistakes that the regular normal police officers make. He wanted to teach them how to handle black people, whatever. And, and the whole time I'm watching it and I'm thinking to myself, we do not need to teach the police how to handle black people. We need to teach black people how to conduct themselves. But one thing he 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 he, he done in this video, right? Now, I didn't see the whole video. I mean, I saw the four minute clip, but I know the video is much longer, but I was trying to find it on YouTube and I couldn't find it. Maybe if I search it a bit later and I'll maybe attach it to this this um, this video. So maybe when this video is done, when this live stream is done, if I can find it in a day or two's time, I will attach it in the description box below. Man. This guy was basically asking the police officers, right? So it's a black guy he's standing in front of these rookie police officers, whatever. And he said to them, what do you think of the black community? Now, one of the women... Young, young girl, I don't know how old she was, probably about 25, maybe 30 years old or something like that. She said, oh, um, I don't, I don't, um, I don't really have any, I don't want to say word for word what she said in it, but she said something along the lines that she's never really encountered the black community, so she don't know. He said, okay, but what do you think of the black community, judging by what you've seen on the TV, right? And he, she just said something like, she basically didn't even give him a proper response, right? She had nothing to say. He is trying to push this narrative He's really trying to push his narrative that's to say, oh, you know, all police and all white people think this way about black people. And the fact of the matter is, nobody gives a fuck about black people in the right way. You know, no one's interested in what black people are doing. No one's interested in what Indian people are doing. No one's interested in what nobody's doing. Yeah, nobody cares about any particular race of people. Yeah? But you've got idiots like him trying to push this narrative that, oh, all the police hate black people. It's bullshit. We do not need to teach the police how to handle black people. We need to teach black people how to conduct themselves. Then he wouldn't get handled by the police a certain way. But this guy earlier was just trying to push and push and push this narrative that white people and all the police have a problem with black people. They see black people a certain way. Most of people don't give a fuck. If you ask them about what they think about the black community, maybe they'll just say, oh yeah, it's quite dysfunctional and then that's it. But they don't care. I think like these people think that white people sit in their house and talk about black people all day long. No, they don't. No, they don't. They probably have had conversations about white and um, black people, whatever. Maybe they've dissed them, whatever, in it, but they are not a hot topic. The people don't sit around and knit and talk about black people. They don't give a fuck. Right? And people need to stop giving a fuck what people think about black people. So when I was trying to search for this video earlier, this teaching the police how to handle black people, another video came up. Um, the channel has like 10 million subscribers and this video had a million views or the other way around. Anyway, heavily viewed video, yeah? It was about black parents um, basically teaching their children how to handle the police. This fucking black guy, right? Maybe 35 years old, let's say. Yeah? He's with his daughter. His daughter's eight years old. I think her name was Ariel or something like that. Black man, black daughter. He said every day or every week or some, 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 at some point in time, right, 
he goes through the line with her, right? And he said, tell him your line or whatever, isn't it? Hi, like if you get stopped by the police, this is what he wants his eight-year-old daughter to say. This is what they, he practices with his daughter. I think it's every day. I believe it's every day. He practices with his daughter to say this if she ever gets stopped by the police. Hi, I'm Ariel. I'm eight years old. I'm unarmed. Please don't shoot me or some bullshit like that. Literally, literally, she word for word said, I am unarmed. I'm like, why are you even teaching your children this stuff? Like, it's just madness. It's madness. Videos like that should not be allowed to be on fucking YouTube. Or parents shouldn't even be allowed to make a video about that bullshit. It's crazy. How can you teach? Why would you be teaching your children that when they get approached by the police, say, put their hands up and drop to their knees and say they're an unarmed individual or whatever, at eight years old? You're indoctrinating her mind. You're basically teaching her to be afraid of the police when she don't need to. The police are there to protect people. Now, obviously, there are bad police officers, I get it. But... That's only like 1%, right? People always want to push the narrative that the police are bad, the police are bad, the police are bad. Yeah, but why don't people promote these videos where the police are going out saving people, where the police have jumped in the line of fire, where the police have killed murderous people? These people have a vendetta against the police and they will stop at nothing to make the police look bad or get rid of them. And these are the same idiots. If their house gets broken into, if their fucking mum gets murdered, they're going to be straight on the phone to the jigs. But they want this to please. That... What side are you on? Same people, you know. Guarantee any of these people that talk about, oh, yeah, black lives, this and that, and yeah, if the police and that, you go kill one of their mums, yeah? You burgle their house. They'll be straight on to the boy them without hesitation.